we were supposed to go. Oh, chapter seven. We were supposed to go to the the tower. We were supposed to go find Beatrice. We're supposed to go. We still haven't found this man. You know, technically, we haven't found this man who smells of smoke and isn't from here. We now we have to go to Ferris Park Wheel Park, and now we gotta do something else. I've been I've I've been playing around. I've been playing around. I don't remember what we're supposed to be doing for real. Uh, just the park hold the way into the tower. Search the park grounds to find out. Save progress, of course. Of course, I'm a compulsive saver. Let's go to it. Let's go to work. We're nine, almost nine and a half hours in. Not bad. Talk to the town hall official. Well, now I got to figure out where uh, the town hall is. I remember. Is it? This is the only latent game which does have too many coins. Great. Uh, let's see. Neither of these are the town hall official. Let's see, town hall. If I had to guess where town hall is, it's over this way. Is this town hall? No, this is a general shore store. Do we have a map? We have a map. There's no map. I need to figure out where the hell town hall is. Hey y'all, where the hell is town hall? <laughs> <laughs> I was yelling at the people in town, but that's also for you guys to chat. If you remember where Town Hall is, feel free to let me know while I talk to this guy. I like this one. I like him. Lady Dahlia sure is gorgeous, ain't she? Yep, sure is. What a dish. What a doll. What a honey. Gals like that are pretty rare, I tell you. Yep. Yep. All right, let's find Town Hall. It's not that way. That's towards the manor. Let's check down this way. There's the inn. Let's see, Carlos says he thinks it's next to the clock. All right, we can head back. Uh, there's the clock. This one, no, this is the, this is where the woman, any puzzles that we haven't solved over any chapter, this is where they go. I remember that one. This is Granny R. Granny, Granny uh, Riddleton. Is this town hall? Town Hall. There we go. All right. It's okay, guys. We got it. We found it. We did it together. It's okay. What's that you saying? The gate to the park is locked shut. No, no, no. That's impossible. We've employed a caretaker who should be who should have everything up and running. Have we run into a caretaker? Be that as it may, the gate is locked shut and we can't gain entrance to the place. Would you please open it for us? That sort of thing is the job of the park caretaker. I strongly advise you to go find him. We have to find everybody in this town. Well, where do you think we might find this caretaker? I don't know. Here's a puzzle. Watch. <laughs> Here's, I don't know. Here's a puzzle. I'm calling it. Hmm. Now, that's a good question, isn't it? Managing the park is the caretaker's duty, but who knows who manages the caretaker? I can't say it's not one of my duties. Oh, he's one of those. He's an asshole. Let's call him what it is. He's an asshole. What a bureaucracy. He manages the town sewer systems as well. Now, unless you have some form you need to fill out, I strongly advise you beat it. Gosh, he's rude. The sewers, unpleasant as it might be, it is one place we haven't searched yet. Perhaps we'll find a clue to our mystery down there. I've only seen one manhole in town. Oh, right. The one on the path to the park. Well, it's a dirty job, but someone has to do it. Off we go. See, a town hall doesn't look like a town hall. I would argue that this is a town hall for a small, like a very small town like this world like you see how easily we've walked from place to place like only a few days have passed and we've explored the entire town like we've been everywhere more or less you know like we met everybody in town so, so I, I'd, I'd argue it's a small it's a town it's a small town's town hall all right here's the sewer oh boy here we go
Excuse me, are you by any chance the park caretaker? Um, no. I'm an explorer of El Mundo. Right now, I am trying to familiarize myself with the local culture. Oh, um, well, please pardon my mistake then. Have a pleasant day, sir. Oh, wait for one moment, though, Silvio. Why is he jumping between three languages? That's hard to do. <laughs> oh, wait for one moment, though, Silvio. I just saw a man in work clothes pass here. Could he be the caretaker you seek? He could be. Which way did he go? Probably to the right. But maybe it was the left. I see. Are you feeling all right? You seem a bit directionally challenged for being an explorer. I just arrived here after years of world travel. Je ne sais pas la local geography here, that's all. I see. In that case, please forgive me for making another assumption. Now, please excuse us as we need to get going. Wait. Which way to the Villagio? Donde esta la train station? This man. All right. So we can either go to the left or we can go to the right. Which way you guys want to go and check? Let me know which way we should probably. Don't tell me the answer, but which way do you want to go? To the left or to the right? Let me close this window. Here we go. Which way you guys want to go? You want to go left? This is my left. Or you want to go right? This is my right. Scat says right. Scat says right. I've heard from three people uh, in the chat so far, so I'm waiting for one of them to either left or right to get more votes. Derecha. Okay, to the right we go. Hey, this man. Let's talk to this man. Oh, there. Now, what can I do you fellows for? You're the park caretaker, are you not? Would you mind opening up the gate to the park for us? Well, how could I refuse you two curious lads such as yourselves? Well, I'd like to open it up for you, but I've got to finish this repair job here before I do anything. And lo and behold, the repair job is going to be a puzzle. Is there anything we can do to help you then? Funny you should mention that. Uh, if I could just figure out the area on this map, I'd be done in a jiff. You any good with things like that? Puzzle. Squares and circles. Oh boy. This puzzle's worth 30 pick rats. We have no hint coins. So Vane brought you this diagram to see if you could help him with it. Several circles and squares are pictured in the diagram below. How many times larger is the area of the blue square when compared to that of the red square? Okay, this is going to be good. This is a little bit of geometry. While I love me some math, I hate geometry because it's all memorization. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but my memory is trash. Okay, but let's see if we can play this one out. I don't have hint coins, but I got Carlos S. I'm down. <laughs> okay, let's see. So the red square... What we know about the red square relative to that first, that smallest circle. What we know about that red square. Let me see. I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure it out. I think I might have a better chance at looking at it if I first put on my goddamn glasses. And second, if I look at like the stream. Because like it's a little bit clearer and closer than uh, my computer. Let me see. The red square relative to that smallest circle. Red square relative to that smallest circle. I'm going to argue that the length of each side of the square... Is the 
Give me a second. Hang on. Let me form that thought. Oh, how many times larger is the oh the area of the red square? Okay, I need to I need to remember that. I'm looking for the area, or I'm trying to compare the two areas. I'm gonna argue that the length of the I'm sorry the length of each side of the red square is half of any. Let me try this better. The length of one side of the red square is half. Of any one side of the blue square. That's what it looks like with the help of the circles in the other squares. If that's the case, that means each side is twice as long as as each each side of the blue square is twice as long as each side as the red square. Okay. So what I can do there is pin in numbers. Let me take these off. These aren't my thinking glasses. Those are my reading glasses. Let's see. So if I want to do some math, if I want to put numbers there just to make things make sense, what I'm saying is if the red square is what? Let's say two inches. If the red square, if each side of the red square is two inches, then that would mean that... That would mean that the each side of the blue square is four inches. Now those are just I'm just using relativity. I'm not saying it is actually four inches. I'm just putting numbers because it's easier to do numbers than letters. So if if that's true, then that would mean that the area of the smaller square we're saying is four. Four inches squared or four square inches. Because two times two would be the area. And then the other would be 16 square inches. So if that if that's true, then the red square is a fourth the size. I'm sorry, a fourth the area of the blue square. The blue square is four times. Four times as big as the red square. That's what I'm going with. What it is, the circles here, the circles, as well as this square, help you establish how long these two, this side and this side is in, in factual terms, like in, in actual factual Let's see. I'm going to put how many how many times larger is the area of the blue square compared to that of the red square four times. I, I'm pretty sure that's it. There we go. Yeah. Every puzzle has an answer. I hate geometry, but I, I can look that I can look at that one. If you rotate it. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> I did it a different way, but it, it, it's the same thing. If you rotate it, you'll see that these points go up here. Like this point here would go here. And then this measures that way. Dope. Fine work to both of you. Soon as I take care of this busted main, I'll open that gate for you. My question is, what does that have to do? What does that have to do with these pipes? What does it have to do with these pipes, Sylvain? There. That ought to take care of this mess. Let me make this smaller again. Now let's open up the park, eh? Found a painting scrap. Dope. Just hold on one second here. Gate's open. There we are. The park is yours to explore now. Professor, we're in. Thank you. You've been of great help, caretaker. Ha <laughs> ha. I hardly need thanking, sir. After all, this is me job. Way back when, I used to keep it open every day, but these villagers, they don't care a whit for me, park. I'm glad you fellows stopped by. It's the first time in a while I've had to do my job. Dope. Let's move in. 
hopefully, hopefully there's more uh, uh, hint coins in here. Let's investigate the part. Let's see. Carlos said, by the way, I played puzzle number 45, the one with the aliens and the compass. And it's a completely different puzzle. Yeah, I saw your comment. Uh, I actually want to check out the difference and why there's a difference. Normally when it's something like that, it's a cultural thing. It's, it's a cultural reason as to why puzzles, I'm sorry, why uh, content has changed. So I actually want to go and check out why it's a different one and then what, what's replaced by it. This park is really sad, isn't it? It's all rusty and abandoned. It's just as Sylvain said. It seems that no one set foot in this park for a dreadfully long time. Now on to business. Let's give the grounds around the Ferris wheel a once over. I expect we'll find something of interest there. All right. There's puzzle coins abound. There has to be. Bam. We're already on the tri track. Let's see. If I were a puzzle coin, where would I be hidden? Not there. Oh, my. What is it, Professor? Look at this poster. The picture appears to be the same as the one on the ticket we picked up. It looks like it's been posted here for ages. It's so faded, you can't even read the letters. It looks like something carnival. I, I actually can't make it out. It's interesting. Oh. Hey, isn't that? Yes, I thought so. That's... That's little Flora there in the middle of the picture, isn't it? Okay, dope. That is Flora. She looks exactly as she does in the portrait we saw of her in Reinhold Manor. It would seem that Baron Reinhold built this amusement park for the sole enjoyment of his daughter. Strange. I wonder why it wasn't more popular with the village folk once it was open to the public. Well, I don't suppose speculation will help us very much. Let's keep moving. You're right, you are, Professor. All right, let's look at this one. Oh, it's a map of the park. Dope. Hey, two coins. Curtis. There's one more. There's, from what I know about Professor Layton, there's three coins at every location, like every screen. So if we found two, then there's one more here somewhere. Let's see. Bam, moving on. <laughs> We can go now. Let's head down this path. All right. Another screen. There should be three more coins somewhere. This place is so run down, it looks like it hasn't been touched in years. What a shame. I bet it was. I bet it used to be a fun place. There's even a big tent like the kind you see in circuses. Circai. Yes, there is something quite sad about it, isn't there? How strange. This was clearly a traveling carnival. So why was it left to rot here in St. Mysterio? I bet the Ferris wheel is a mess too. I suppose I won't get too used to that ride ticket we picked up. Well, we better we have better things to do than ride that thing, don't we? Somewhere in this park hides a clue to finding the golden apple. I'm sure of it. Alright. Let's see, no one's in the shop. No coin up there. No coin up there. No coin there. Bam! There's one. Let's see. If I were to gonna hide coins from me, where would I hide them? Where would I hide them? In the ground! <laughs> Let's see, there's one more somewhere. It's in the middle of the sky. It has to be. That's the, that's the only thing that makes sense. Hide in the sky. He'd never look there. There we go. Moving on. Let's see, we can go back or we can head this way. This must be the Ferris wheel we were looking for. I mean, come on, Layton. Have you seen any other Ferris wheel since we've been here? We've been here for weeks now. Luke, why don't you look around and see if anything seemed odd about it? Sure thing, Professor. Hmm. Hmm. Did you find anything out of the ordinary, Luke? No, not a thing. Maybe there's no secret hidden in this Ferris wheel after all. That remains to be seen. 
Let's look around a bit more, shall we? All right. No coin there. Nope. There's no coin there. It's a thing. It's definitely a thing. Though I can't put my finger on it, there's something quite odd about this Ferris wheel. It makes me wonder if we might have overlooked something important around the park. That reminds me... That reminds me, Luke, have you heard about heard the wonderful puzzle about the Ferris wheel? Y'all, there's a killer on the loose. There's a little girl. There's some man who smells like smoke. We don't know nothing about this Ferris wheel. And we're hungry. I'm hungry, at least. But have you heard this puzzle? I don't get it. I don't get it, guys. Puzzle number 87, Ferris Wheel Riddle. This one's worth 50 picarats. There are 10 two-seater cars attached to the Ferris Ferris Wheel. The Ferris Wheel turns so that one car rotates through the exit platform every minute. That's very... That's very slow. Unless it's saying it takes a minute for it to go around. The way I interpreted that, like... You get in car A, by the time car B comes, a minute has passed. I was going to say it's very slow. The wheel began operating or operation at 10 in the morning and shut down 30 minutes later. What's the maximum number of people that could have taken a ride on the wheel in that time period? Yeah, I actually need to interpret what that means. Does that mean car A takes a minute to go? I'm sorry. One minute? Yeah. Does it mean car A takes ten, one minute to go around? Or does it mean from car A to car B immediately after it takes one minute to go around? Because then that's a long ass time that you're on this Ferris wheel too, you know? I'm going to assume it takes car A one minute to go around. But then that's a, that's a short time that you're on the Ferris wheel. Whatever. Okay, 10 two-seater cars. So that means there's two people in each car. At any given moment, there's 20 people on the Ferris wheel. The wheel began operation at 10 in the morning and shut down 30 minutes later. Okay, so at any given time, there's 20 people on this Ferris wheel. Every minute that passes, a new, a new set of two people... The maximum number of people increases by two every minute that passes. So we start at 20 and we add what? Two times 30, we add 60. So 80 people. <laughs> 80 people could have, uh, a maximum of 80 people could have been on the Ferris wheel for that time period. That's assuming. Shoot, I'm going with that. I'm going with 80. Before I talk myself out of it, I'm going with 80. How does this sound? Okay. It's not 80. I was sure I had it. A car comes once a minute for 30 minutes. Two people can ride each car. It sounds simple, but it's e if awfully easy to overlook some important facts around the problem. Let me look at it again. Let me look at it again. I interpreted something wrong. I feel like I did it right. I just interpreted something wrong. There's 10 two-seater cars. That means there's 20 people at any given time. Oh, no. It began operation. So at 10 in the morning, there's not 20 people. It takes one minute for the first car. Okay, let's see. Okay, I see what I interpreted wrong. I interpreted the start time. The, the combination of the start time and how many people are on it wrong. Okay. Okay. So if there's 10 cars, it takes 10 minutes. Let me see. Once we have once we have 20 people on, let's see. In the first minute, we have two people. In the second one, we have four. The third minute, we have six. 
The fourth, we have eight, all the way down to ten. Let me see, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so then we have ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. Okay, now every minute after, every minute after, we still have twenty people on, but we have a new set. So is it actually sixty? If it's not eighty, that means we didn't start with twenty on. So then in the 11th minute, we still have 20 people on. But we have 22 people that have written. Have you realized that the third phase of the puzzle solving animation is different? Yes, I've actually, I, I know that for a fact. Like it's, they did that in uh Layton versus right. I just haven't acknowledged it because it's not really, it's not really like important. To pay attention to that. They, it's either right or wrong, you know? <laughs> it's either right or wrong. And it's not telling me how right or how wrong I am. So it's not really important. I'm either right or wrong once I hit once I hit uh submit. Okay. So in the eleventh minute, we still have twenty people on this thing, but the maximum number is now at twenty two. Same thing goes for 12. We have 20 people on, but the maximum number is now 24. So going by that, you just double the minutes 30 minutes later. So 30 minutes later, we've had 60 people, right? Let's try 60. Well, here's my guess. That's not it either. I'm so embarrassed. Okay. We've earned these here hint coins. Let's blow one. Let's blow one hint coin. I feel like this might be the first puzzle that I'm I'm I've got some I've got everything messed up. There hasn't been a puzzle where the first hint has helped us truly. Let's blow this one and I hope it helps. You may think all you have to do is add a few things up. There's a trick to this problem that's easy to overlook. Think about the way Ferris wheels have to work. If two people catch the first ride of the day, how much time will pass before they get off the ride? 11. I'm sorry, 10 minutes. They get on in the first minute and then they get off on the 11th minute. Okay, so maybe that was foolish. Maybe this first hint is not helpful. Let's see, but people don't have to get down. They do. They do. And then that's where I'm saying, like, in the 11th minute, we would still have 20 people on, assuming someone gets on every car. We would still have 20 people on in the 11th minute, but the maximum number of people that have been on the Ferris wheel in that 11th minute is 22. The two people that got off, as well as the 20 that are on. Let's see. Mm -hmm. If it's a two seater, then they would have. I'm assuming the maximum number of people means I don't have to look at whether or not they got off because the maximum number assumes that everyone got off. Everyone went on, got went around once and got off. The minimum number would have to say whether or not they got off or not. The maximum number assumes you got on and you got off. Is this another puzzle that wasn't done right? Let me blow another hint. I'm blowing another hint. If the wheel has a st oh, oh, god damn it! <laughs> okay, we did assume something. We did assume. I assumed something wrong. I'm not gonna put that on there, everybody. If the wheel has to stop promptly at 10:30, then the operator won't allow anyone on the fair on who can't get off by 11:30. Okay, good job. Good. J you know what? You know what, Layden? 
Good job. Clap it up for Professor Layton. He got me. He completely got me on this one. Okay. Good hint. There's only infinite numbers on the DS system, so if you try every one of them, you'll eventually find the solution. That's 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 gonna be the third hint. I know that for a fact. <laughs> if I if I were to spend another coin, they would say that. Okay. Good job, Professor Layton. He got me today. He got me. He got me on this one. Okay, so let me write out all the numbers for. I'm gonna write all, all the numbers for um minutes that have passed just for like clarity's sake for me trying to solve this uh i'm gonna put 20 down on let's see 20 needs to go where 10 is okay so let's see 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 well i kind of i kind of thought it through because i'm keeping track of how many people are on the ride as well as how many people have gone on completely. Let me see. This this was a... You know what? As much as I hate that Leighton got me, this was a good puzzle. This was a good one. This is like the clock one. The one about 111, 222. This was a good puzzle. I'll give that one to Leighton. Okay. So at 30 minutes, we need to know that there are zero people still on this. So what I'm going to do for the left side, I'm going to put that there's zero people on this. For 29, there could still be two because we have one minute to get people off. 28, there can be four. 27, there can be six. 26, there can be eight. 25, there can be 10. 24, there can be 12. 23, there can be 14. 22, there can be 16. 21 there can be 18 and 20 is the last minute that they can have 20 people still on this thing the people that get on at 20 minutes have to get off at 30 minutes okay so going through that for every other minute that i haven't found out how many people there are on here there's 20 people on two people have gotten off and two new people have gotten on increasing the maximum by Two. So let me see. I need to now put 15. I'm sorry, 16 through. See, see why I say this was a good ass puzzle? This was a good one, boy. This was a good one. Leighton just chose the wrong time of day to goddamn give me this puzzle because we're trying to find stuff out about the Ferris wheel, not find out how many people got on it. <laughs> okay. So let me continue. I had 11 minutes, 20 people are on for a maximum of 22. The people that got on in the first minute, I'm sorry, in the second minute have gotten off. I'm sorry, in the in the first minute have gotten off and a new set have gotten on. In the 12th minute, we still have 20. Two new people have gotten on, so it's 24. In 13, we have... 26 and 14 we have 28 and 15 we have 30 in 16 we have 32 and 17 we have 34 in 18 we have 36 in 19 we have 38 and in 20 minutes we have 40 people at this point no new people can get on everybody's getting off so in 20 minutes we have 40 people and that's the maximum I said 80 first, and then I said 60. Now it's at 40. Good work. Prof Everybody clap it up for Professor Layton one good time. 40 people. Everybody clap it up for Layton. He got me. He got me. I think I've got it. No? Okay. Okay. It's not 40? Give me that last hint. Give me that last hit. Just go ahead and say it. Eventually, eventually you'll find the answer. If you try the ball, say it, Leighton. I dare you. The first pair of people to board the Ferris wheel at 10 will get off the ride 10 minutes later. Since the ride itself takes 10 minutes. Okay. Since the ride itself takes 10 minutes, no one will get off until 10-10. So did I just do it too early? Should it be 38 instead of 40? Do 
then from 1010 until shut down at 1030, people will get off the ride at a rate of two per minute. Calculate the number of people coming off the ride and you'll have your answer, but be careful. It's easy to make a mistake. So is it 38? Is this one here 38? Because at 10, you have people getting off. So that would mean in the 19th minute will be the last one. And then at 30, the ride is done. Or 29, you're pulling off the last people. So would it be 38? Let's see. Input. Let's try 38. That's not 38. Let's try it again. There we go. How does this sound? No? Okay. All right. I'm so embarrassed. Guess what, guys? Oh, shoot. Oh, this was. I don't think this was a mandatory puzzle. Guess what? We're moving on. Try 38. If it is a 38, try 42. Rage quit. Okay, let's 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 go. Come on, Layton. I like that Carlos. I like that Carlos knows the answer and still isn't telling me. I appreciate it. Thank you. I, I honestly appreciate it. 42. Okay, it's 42. So what, hang on, what went wrong? Yes. One minute, we have two people get on. Oh, I think I, I think I did like the classic thing with time. My one on my chart means the end of the first minute. At the end of the first, I'm sorry, end of the first minute, which would be 59 seconds and like 99 out of 100 of that, that second. Yeah, so on 20, we actually do put on one more, one more group of people, and then we start pulling people off the Ferris wheel, so it would be 42. Okay, got it. I hate this game. I hate time. I hate time in, in puzzles, and I hate uh, most other stuff in puzzles, but specifically time. Time is up there for what I hate most in puzzles. Uh, for the first nine minutes, cards move in and load in. Shut up, Layton. 